sometimes, especially these older oak trees or beech tree that we'll see in a little while, they're rotten on the inside. And you'll just be cranking in and then you'll hit a soft spot. And if that happens, don't keep going because the threads have to be able to engage as you unscrew, just as they have to engage as you go in. So if you hit the soft spot, you want to pull back, get the, um, make sure that the threads are in good firm wood so that the increment board doesn't get stuck in the tree. And whatever you do, don't go all the way through the tree, right? Out the other side, not a danger of it with this, this particular uh, tree. But again, the same thing. If you go out the other side and the threads are sticking there, you really can't pour it, pull it back in. Okay. I'm gonna go just a couple more in here. And build up your upper body strength. Okay. Here's where the spoon comes in. It's curved. So what I'm gonna do is take it so that the curved side is up. And I'm going to slip it in the top of the bore there, gently. It is relatively thin metal, so you don't want to force it and potentially break it. So you kind of slide it in, insert it all the way in. And I should have showed you, I'll show you again later, but it has these teeth at one end that grab the, the uh, end of the core. The core is still attached in there. So now I'm going to unscrew it a half a turn. So so counterclockwise, that broke the core off. So now I can kind of gently pull it out and there comes the core. Okay. Now be aware that some trees, especially a beech that we'll take a look at later, or um, certain trees are, are worse than others in terms of having the core break up. And so you don't want to drop it. If you drop it, you, it, you can't do anything with it. You can't just uh, say, oh, I got the beginning and the end. Uh, I don't, won't worry about the middle. You need all the pieces and uh, be able to know what order they're coming in. So I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to start putting it in my carrying case, my straw right now. It's just a paper straw. Um, put it in paper. Well, I, I prefer paper because uh, it allows the core to breathe a little bit as it starts to dry and it keeps it from uh, bending right? so it won't curl up as the core itself starts to dry. So it breathes but then it also keeps it in its proper shape. So all I've done is kind of pinched one end down and I'm gonna, you can't, um, the bark isn't something we, we age but it's nice to have so you know which end was the bark end. Right. Not behaving well here. So get in there. Golf tees are very helpful to, <laughs> for uh, helping you push things along sometimes. Okay. All right. So I'm just sliding the core in. And my core is longer than my straw. Okay. This one's broken, which is a pain. We can deal with it. Okay. So even if it wasn't broken, I've got more core to get there, but that's bigger than my core. So I'm gonna have to get another straw and put it on top of it to seal it that way. But now I've gotta get that piece in there too. Okay. So I gotta get another straw ready. Pull that out. There it is. And there's the teeth on that end. So they're kind of gripping it a little bit. So I kind of have to pull that a little bit. Just have to set the spoon out of my way so I don't step on it. Okay, throw that in. Now I'm going to put the two straws together. So I kind of pinch the paper down a little bit so I can fold down that edge. Slide the other one over top of it. Okay. And I'm going to mark right now before I forget which end was the bark end. Okay. 
important to know. And there's a chunk of bark in there, so that helps, but often the bark breaks off, and you want to make sure what's the outside of the tree and what's the inside of the tree. Now, before we do anything else, I'm just going to set this down and get the increment bore out of here so that it doesn't seize up on it. So the tree is starting to expand, and I don't want it to uh, kind of catch that bore and get it stuck in there. So this might make some noise, some squeaking. You don't mind so much when they make noise. It's when all the <laughs> liquid and gases come out. It can be a little unpleasant. Things to look out for. You have a hollow tree. A lot of times there's stinky water in there that'll come spilling out on you. Or trapped gas. Had increment bores come shooting out the end on me. So. so the, as you can guess, there's a fair bit of friction. So this, the metal is warming up, obviously, as I unscrew it. I'm going to use that to our advantage. I have a little block of beeswax that I'll rub on there while it's still warm. And that way when I go to um, core the next tree, or the other side of this tree, um, it acts like a lubricant. So basically just the barrel. I don't really need to get the blades. Now often what will happen is uh, you'll get a little chunk stuck in there, uh, kind of blocking the end. This uh, I got to clear through, so I don't have that with this one, but it's not uncommon. And there's where the um, the golf tee comes in handy. You can kind of just push that in there, loosen it, and then either it'll fall out or you can use the increment board, pull. I'm sorry, the spoon and pull that out again. If it's a real big uh, chunk down there, it's really not going to work. But if it's a small little piece, you can pull. If it's a bigger piece, you might have to insert the spoon again and try pulling that out. Or use your chop stop, <laughs> chopstick. Right? So uh, next time you go to the Chinese restaurant, grab a couple of these right, and you can use them to help uh, unclog. All right, I'm going to put the spoon in there so nothing happens to it. And I want to deal with my core, right? So don't forget that you got some information to put down on there. So I'm going to put the tree, what type of tree it was on. I'm going to write that on here. And I'm going to put the, um, the diameter that we measured before. Right? So I'm going to identify what tree this is coming from. And I'm going to take two cores from this. So we've got an A core and a B core. So I'll put that on here as well. Um, you might have other information like a particular plot or a particular tree identification number or something. Um, you know, we're just out here coring a couple of trees, but you know, if we have like our field book, we might have each tree identified and that would go on here as well. Your initials perhaps, so we know who's doing the coring. But very important is the date. You'll need to know when this core was taken so we know what year was that outside ring or even what season. Uh, you know, was the tree already past the growing season? Was it early in the growing season? So we'll put the date on here as well, the date and the year. Okay, now so we don't lose it. I'm using a, a Sharpie, right? indelible ink. Another nice thing about paper straws, you can write right on them. I just made a little PVC. Um, tube. Just drop that in there. and keeps them from getting damaged. And I'm carrying my paper straws around just in a little plastic holder. Okay, shall we core the other side?